So now we are moving into a different type of select operation. Until now, what you may have seen is that whenever we have had selects, we said select something, set of columns from a table, and then we had a condition. Okay. So effectively, what happened was it took a particular table, and then if there is a where clause, it filtered the table and gave us the results. Okay. But one thing you must observe in that kind of scenario is every row of the output corresponds to one row of the input. Okay. So in that sense, every row of the output is computed from exactly one row of the input. Right? That is because either the input row got filtered or it did not get filtered. Okay? So, the output, every single row of the output was computed from only one particular row of the input. Okay? That was what we had. But of course, there could be some questions or some requirements for us to get data in such a way that one row of the output is actually computed from multiple rows of the input. Okay? So, this is an example of that kind of a query. It says how many courses do we have? Okay? So, obviously the answer is uh, there are five courses because we know in our database if we go look at the table courses, we see that it has five rows. So, there are five courses. So, in order to get that out, so the answer to this question is just 5. Okay? It is just a single number 5. Now, how did that number 5 come about? Because we counted all the rows. Okay? So, that single number 5 or the single row of the output was computed based on many rows of the input. Okay? So, this kind of thing is called as an aggregate query. So, let us see. So, we are going to do select. Okay? And whenever we are doing aggregates, we use certain functions. SQL provides us certain aggregate functions. And the function we are going to use here is a function called count. Okay? Count simply says, count how many rows are there. <coughs> okay? So, we say select count star. Star basically says how many rows. Because star, we know, stands for give me all the columns. So, it does not really matter. We are just saying, tell me how many rows there are. It does not particularly matter which columns I want because that is not what I am interested in. And of course, it is from courses, right? because we want to find out how many rows are in the courses table. Okay? Now, of course, I am not going to go into a lecture now and explain the whole idea again, but if you are somewhat uh, hesitant or doubtful about this concept, I strongly encourage you to go back to the lecture videos and watch them because there I explain in much greater detail what is going on here and these are important. Aggregate queries are very important because most of the time when you are extracting information from a large database, you will be performing aggregation of some sort. Okay? So, make sure you understand what is going on here really well.